Sometimes I like to have a bit of fun in Total War Attila, I know, an oxymoron, but when cavalry rules the day, wins the day, um, going all infantry can sometimes be, I won't say a nice change of pace, but it can at least be a change of pace. So in this Dane army, on the Battle of Plains against the Visigoths, I've just gone full on infantry spam. I have three Nordic bands, I have four herdmen, I have six chosen warriors, I have six Nordic warriors, and I have a Viking captain. And the, th the reason why this can work is because you have so many precursors. You have two precursors on each of the Nordic warriors and the Nordic war oh, and the chosen warriors. The herdmen sadly lack precursors, but the Nordic band has a precursor. So the Nordic band are a great unit that you can use for scouting, throw javelins. If they had spears, they would be the levy freemen of Total War Attila. And this is a map where this kind of army isn't as vulnerable as it would be on, on the enemy uh, if the enemy had uh, an open field to charge you with cavalry. Because going into a forest, being slowed down, being hit with projectiles is, is not a good time for, uh, for enemy cavalry at all. So what I'm going to do early on is I'm going to see what he has in terms of missiles. And there are quite a few Germanic archers here. They are firing on my Nordic band. I am losing Nordic band, but this allows me to get a good view of the enemy army. I see some, let's see, I see some uh, three Thracian oath swords here. They are a huge problem. I see some cavalry here, and I see some uh, Gothic Palatina defectors. So now I'm sort of thinking, hmm, how do I, how do I uh, engage this? Because of course, the rushing into the forest against the pikes, that's not what I'm going to do. I am, however, going to throw precursors on the Germanic Lancers, kill quite a few of them, and send my Nordic band into the pikes here. And you can see the Nordic bands already 32 kills from precursors, mainly from precursors. But what also happens here is that since this Nordic band was, was uh, taking fire, I want to send in the Nordic band so that any fire being poured on this Nordic band also hits Gothic pikemen. Now, the Gothic pikemen killed a lot of Nordic bands, so... Uh, sending Nordic ban into Pikeman is of course not a good idea. So I'm just continuing to scout a bit. These guys have killed some uh, killed some units. These guys haven't killed anything yet. They are taking fire. But I just want to get precursors off on cavalry. And as you can see, these Germanic archers they are still firing on my on my Nordic band. So that's that's pretty good for me because in the late game I won't be able to chase down enemy archers very easily with my heavy infantry. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to push up, pretend I'm going to engage here. I am taking fire on Nordic Warriors, only flaming shots, fortunately, at this point. Going into shield wall would help here, but I'm going to push up these guys, then I'm going to pull them back momentarily. Then I want to put my Hirdman, they are there only to go into shield wall, they are beastly in shield wall. So I'm going to push up these guys, see if I can get a response from the enemy. If he decides to camp the forest, then I'm just going to move around. So the hillmen move up, the Nordic warriors pull back. Over here, the rest of the Nordic band gets slaughtered by a Germanic Lancer. A Germanic Lancer took some casualties, but nothing major. So now I'm going to put my put my hillmen in here in in uh, shield wall because basically anything that Anything that hits these hillmen is going to take a lot of casualties. Now I do make a mistake with my precursors and fire into these Germanic archers. A complete waste of precursors and I can't really afford to lose my precursors uh, since precursors are the main main thing I have to fight enemy cavalry. So since I have my shield wall established in the center here, I see the enemy cavalry on the flank so I'm going to push up a few units towards the flank. Now this is very risky because these cavalry units could very well just break my flank almost immediately and then go for these units. But since I have so many units with precursors, it's going to come at great cost to the enemy cavalry. So I'm going to start flanking around. My enemy is holding the center with pikes and archers. I'm holding the center with my hillmen and shield wall. So what I want to do now is I want to use my, use my infantry on the flanks because there is no cavalry on this flank. So I feel quite safe in engaging on this flank and just trying to hold off these cavalry units because in most cases I think I think most players would just charge each of these units give, the, give them a short 
two and then they would be off the field. Uh, then these units could be dealt with, but that didn't happen in this case. And I noticed that these Gothic Palatino defectors, that they are in, uh, they are in de a defensive formation. So I'm going to send in my chosen warriors against them. And the chosen warriors, they are not great units by any any stretch of the imagination. But since I'm going in in a wide formation like this, I'm going to be able to wrap around and I'm going to be able to kill the Gothic Palatina defectors fairly quickly. There is a second unit here, and what I want to do now is I want to try to send my Nordic warriors in. I want to send my Hildman in. Because Hildman, uh, they are one of the units that can do reasonably well against Gothic pikemen uh, engaging them frontally. Because they have a very low charge bonus and relatively high armor, good melee defense. You'll see that the Hildman, they don't really lose too many men going against these pikes head on. And the pikes are losing men, so that's good. Now here comes the cavalry engagement, and the precursor from the Nordic warriors kills a lot of noble Germanic horse here. So that's good. So, uh, sending some Hildman in, I think I meant to charge here, but it, yeah, are they charging? No, they're just sort of walking into the pikes, but no biggie. The Palatina defectors were broken by the Chosen Warriors. Some cavalry units are swinging around to this flank, which is potentially very dangerous. But I want the engagements to happen in this forest here. Chosen Warriors attacking a few Germanic archers. And here I'm trying to get some precursors off. But I'm not really able to get the best throw off here. And you can see how my, my Chosen Warriors, they just get massacred. And the Thracian Oathstones took a lot of damage from precursors here. The Gothic pikemen are dying. Mainly precursors are killing these uh, Thracian Oathstones. But I did lose my chosen warriors. So I'm sending in my Viking captain into the mix. Because he's going to be able to use a brace. And give all of these units a bonus. Now all of these units have a bonus against cavalry. And the cavalry pulling out is going to take quite a few casualties. Yeah, you can see the Germanic Lancers here, they are losing a lot of men, but they're, they're able to move into a very dangerous position. The Noble Germanics are also uh, losing a lot of men, but getting into a dangerous position. So, I, I just about killed the enemy general here, with the uh, precursors, so that was good. Getting into the guardingy, a bit of Miss Micro there from my opponent, but this is dangerous. The enemy ca uh, Noble Germanic horsemen smash into the rear of my Viking captain. The enemy general just died. But my Viking captain, he's a fairly tanky character, so although he was attacked in the rear, he can take this for at least some time. And the noble Germanic horsemen are getting surrounded. I just want to close off this engagement so none of these units can escape. But this is very dangerous because the Thracian Oathsorns now broke the Hildman and they could swing around. And if they swing around and attack my general in the rear, they are entirely capable of killing that general. Now, fortunately for me, I have fair units on the field, and my opponent is firing with flaming ammunition here, and he's actually breaking a number of his own units. He's breaking some of mine as well, breaking some hillmen, but he is definitely br uh, breaking some of his own units. Like, these cavalry units, he's doing damage to his own noble Germanic horsemen. And now the noble Germanic horsemen are dropping. This is a this is an engagement noble Germanic horsemen do not want to be in. So I'm pulling out my Viking captain to get him away from these uh, very dangerous Thracian Oathsorns. Sending in multiple units into the Thracian Oathsorns. Dealing with Thracian Oathsorns only with melee units is a nightmare. The precursors help somewhat and now I've sent two units in against this uh, Thracian Oathsorn. So now my men are finally winning but at great cost. Now these Thracian Oathsorns are doing very well for themselves. Over 200 kills. But I'm going to send this Hildman around the flank and try to attack the Thracian Oathsorns in the rear. And even though Hildman are not very good offensively, attacking them in the rear uh, or in the flank, they should do a decent enough job. But they are they are dying themselves. At this point, though, I have I mean I have roughly yeah, 1,100 men left, which is more than enough. My Viking captain is uh, killing these Germanic spearmen. the uh, archers the plan was to break the archers due to army losses and it looks like that's happening so now it's just a matter of of uh, engaging the Thracian Oathsorns you can see I'm giving mass attack orders here on the Thracian Oathsorns 
sending units in from everywhere and even Thracian Ultzone can't stand up to being attacked by this many units. They're going to die very, very rapidly. And that's it really. Now, the army that I came up against it wasn't the worst in terms of, of difficulty, but it, it was a fairly nice army. It only had five cavalry units, even brought some spears, but you can see how well the Thracian Oath Zones did. And the Dranic Archers got some nice kills. Unfortunately for my opponent, many of those kills were on Nordic bands and Nordic warriors. But it can be fun for a change of pace to try all infantry armies, but uh, it, it, going a bit more balanced than this is of course more fun. Going for, for more skirmishers and at least some cavalry. It, it's more fun than just spamming infantry. But uh, going for a ver very one-dimensional army like this can be fun, especially with, the, especially with the Vikings where cavalry wasn't really used. Um, if you use your precursors well, then you can do a lot of damage to enemy cavalry, but against, um, against an MLG opponent that uses cavalry aggressively, I, I don't see this army having a snowball's chance in hell of doing well. Strength and honor.